Hello everyone, this is AB Creative. I hope you are good. Now today I'm taking part in a great switcheroo with three amazing artists, Canela Siraco, Tammy Anderson and Erica Hughes. If you are watching this live, the next video will be Erica Hughes. As you have probably guessed, today we are going to take inspiration from the great world of Bollywood. The Hindi movie scene is famous for amazing dancing, fabulous fashion, wonderful music, and vibrant, bright colors. Very special thank you to my wonderful Indian friends from school who helped me put on this beautiful sari. Thank you so much. Enjoy the video. Which colors do I want? Oh, I like this one. I think that's my choice. So deep pink, blue, there's a hint of teal I can see, and gold. Now, before we start, here are the colors we're going to need. Ultramarine mixed with Electric blue, this is Taylo Green, Deep Violet by Dada and Brownie, actually Rose by Arteza, and of course gold. I brought my box of mica powders. Look at these, what a selection. I thought these are so awesome. So I am going to add some of my powders to these paints. So I picked five mica powders that best matched my paints. I think I will start with actually making an acrylic skin first. So this is my silicone mat and I'm going to pour onto it. I'm putting it onto a sheet of baking paper because I don't want to make my background dirty. I just want all my colors to shimmer. I'll just continue with the other ones. This is going to be my dominant color. I've got more of this pink. I am not adding any mica powders to gold because gold is very shimmeriness on its own. I've decided to add one drop of silicone. In this case, I'm using coconut hair serum. It's not coconut oil. Some people keep asking me, no, it's, it's coconut hair serum. Whoops. I'm mixing it well. I don't want huge cells. That's why I'm mixing quite vigorously on small cells. Oh, I'm also going to use just a regular paper napkin for a swipe. I'm going to spray it with water. I'm going to apply the colors now, quite randomly to be honest. Let's start with the pink, some blues, teal, and light blue. I do have some more paints prepared. But I thought maybe that this will be enough. Oh, I think I need definitely more pink. What was I thinking? More pink. See if I can just shift the colors a bit. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> and then this way. See, there was actually a lot of paint. So I'm spreading it and back. I also want this part to be Covered a bit more, drizzling the leftover paint in various places. So I'm going to spray the towel now. I don't want it soaking wet, just moist. And now I apply the gold paint. Okay. Quite a generous amount of gold. And let's swipe. How pretty is that? That's so gorgeous. But I think I want a bit more gold, so I'm going to swipe again. Perfect. Oh, I love it. See the beautiful cells, the webbing, lacing here. I think I love the colors. So I'm going to leave it and come back once it's dry. I just have to show you the colors from a different angle because they're so stunning. And all the gold will be seen once it's dry. This is a few days later. It's completely dry and it looks a bit dark, 
but considering that the background is uh, dark brown, I'm assuming that it's not going to be actually this color. I'm going to try and peel it. I'm looking for the best, best corner to start. Very satisfying, super satisfying. Look how nicely that peels off. This is super fun. I do like the underneath as well. As you can see, this part was thinner. Now this one peels off so much easier. There was of course another option I could have poured straight away here, but I just like doing stuff in different ways, test testing possibilities, so. Yeah, super. As I said, it's lighter on the white background, which is fantastic. Now we're going to test our skin. Perfect size, absolutely perfect. See the gold, wow. Now I've decided to paint my lady myself, but if you don't want to do it, there are plenty of other solutions. First of all, you could cut out an image of your favorite celebrity from a magazine. Uh, you can print out an image from the internet. Also, you can use a photograph of your sister, of your friend, of your daughter, or even your own. This is the plan. As you can see, I started sketching some pretty eyes. This is going to be a Bollywood dancer. Once I finish, I'm just going to transfer it onto the canvas and I'm going to cut my lovely paw as if I was cutting some fabric. There are various ways of transferring. Uh, I could go over with a pencil, but I always use the quickest. I just rub the lines, either my finger or something sharper. But remember, I just want very faint lines so that I know where to position the eyes. Done. Now if I want to, I can just go over gently with a pencil. I pick the section I like for the bottom part and I'm going to flip it over now and draw around it to cut it. Cutting acrylic skins is so much easier than cutting the real fabric. I'm ready to cut the bottom part of the veil now. I drew a line first with a pencil. Let's see how that fits. Nice. Now I'm going to trim this section on the right hand side of her face. So this part is going to be a bit more golden. Last time I used acrylic skins, I was using PVA glue to stick it onto my canvas, but this time I thought, why can't we try acrylic paint? If I put acrylic paint here, that should, theoretically, should work really well. I do have some smaller purple sections that I think would look really nice close to her face. If you get some air bubbles, I recommend just poking them with a needle. I, I can't actually sew properly, so this is the closest to sewing I can, I can do. Well, if you were wondering why I am covering her face, well, to be honest, most Indian women, they don't cover their faces, but I did see uh, occasionally that they do. It might be like a veil for dancing or in this case it actually might be as simple as a very pretty coffin mask. Time to paint her face. I very rarely show any painting, uh, like brush painting on my channel, but I thought she would really benefit from having a properly painted face and her eyes. And of course I know that everybody will be mixing a slightly different skin tone, you, you may want it lighter or darker, this is absolutely fine. I'm just going to show you the basic, very, very simple principle. Uh, the easiest way to achieve skin tone is to mix the three primary colours. So we mix yellow, red and blue. Of course in different proportions and then we add white. This is cadmium yellow, so that's what I'm going to use. I am going to use cadmium red deep hue and ultramarine blue. Now, as you expect, when I mix the three colors, I'm going to get some brownish tone. So super quick. And I'm going to actually make several tones with the same, with the same brown. Well, I hope that was useful for some of you. 
especially if you want to take your acrylic pouring a bit further and learn some new new skills. Also, the good news is with acrylic paint, if you mix a wrong hue and you're not happy, you can always go over later on. So I am just going to cover her face with one layer of this color. And then I'll think of some highlights and shadows later on. It's also good to have a wet wipe. So if something goes wrong, you can wipe it off straight away. It's dry now and what I will do now, I'll just keep applying lighter tones to sections, to many sections of her face, especially the nose, to make her look 3D, not really flat. I'm gonna have a break for tea and I'll come back in a few minutes. As I said before, of course you can change the tone, you can make the skin much darker. Uh, and also you can use a photograph, it will be much, much easier. Maybe, just maybe, I use a bit of makeup powder and give it like an eyeshadow, emerald green. This is a pretty colour. Well, if it doesn't work, I can always wipe it off. That looks so cool. Gold glow. Yes. Look in the light. Oh my goodness. Now I've got something super special for her. Got this little jewel set. Look at this. And one more thing. She's ready for resin now. The very last thing. Uh, I think she deserves a nice golden edge. I found these sequins. They are so pretty. And I just couldn't resist. I glued them here. Just at the edge of her veil. This is the resin I'm going to use. It's Mastercast by Elichem. And I use it one to one. That means... The same amount of resin with the same amount of hardener. So if you are using 100 milliliters of resin, then you'll be using as well 100 milliliters of hardener. Please always wear gloves when you're using resin and I recommend using a respirator as well. Now you mix the two ingredients really well, I would say for three, four minutes. Really thoroughly make sure you are scraping all the edges. Okay, I'm ready to pour now. Still frothy and bubbly. Okay, let's pour it on her face. Yeah. Some of the decorations will be higher than the resin level, which is fine. I can always do a second layer, but this resin is really nice, makes a beautiful dome. Let's just move it towards the edges. Oh, did I mention you should always check if your painting is level? So use a spirit level. You ready for some magic? That's my chef's dodge. And now let's take a look at the finished piece. Well, there you go. I hope you enjoyed it. This piece was so much fun and I would really love to see what you guys come up with using these techniques. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe and check out the other ladies' creations that were part of this great switcheroo. If you're watching this live, hop on to the next video, which is by Erica Hughes. You can find the link in the description. Thank you so much for inviting me to be a part of this great collaboration. And thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.